All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to sew the zipper turn, which um, makes a really nice finished edge on the end of the zipper and allows space for the leather O-ring tab to set into the bag on the side. What we're going for is just to turn the ends of the zipper tape like this when we sew the zipper on, on the beginning and the end from the inside edges so that you get this really nice finished look on the right side. All right, so we're gonna sew the zipper. The first thing I wanna do is find the middle point. So I'm gonna fold the zipper in half, pinch the zipper tape at the middle point, and I'm actually gonna stick a straight pin in the middle point there. And we're gonna find the middle point on the exterior fabric too. So we can take a ruler for that. Or if you're working with wax canvas, you can just fold it and pinch it. So we're gonna be sewing it right sides together. This is the right side of the exterior fabric and the right side of the zipper is actually the side with the zipper slider. So that needs to be face down. And then I'm gonna match my middle points, which is the mark I made and the pin. And I'm gonna clip these together at the middle points. Once I've clipped the zipper to the fabric, I no longer need my straight pin in the middle point. Okay. So you never wanna sew next to the zipper slider. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And I'm just gonna clip this zipper tape turn to remind myself which edge to turn. Okay, and the same thing down here. Now I'm gonna sew it. We're gonna be using a double-sided zipper foot, which means we have the choice to clamp on the left or the right side. The way that you make that choice is you wanna clamp on the side that the zipper teeth are gonna be on when you're sewing, and I'm gonna be sewing from this direction. My zipper teeth are gonna be on the left, so I'm gonna clamp on the left side of the zipper foot. Then my top thread goes under the presser foot and back. I'm gonna move this clip because it's in my way, and I'm actually not gonna fold that yet. So I'm gonna come in using a quarter inch seam allowance, do forward and reverse, and I'm gonna have you all reverse all the way off the zipper tape. So that first stitch tacks it in place so that when we go to do this turn, it doesn't move around on us a lot. And then now I'm gonna fold this inside edge of the zipper tape and come back up onto the zipper tape with the turn in there. So now we're getting close to the zipper slider. We're gonna have to deal with that in four steps. The first step is to set the needle into your fabric using the hand wheel, turn it towards you until the needle is in. Step two is to lift the presser foot. Step three is to move the zipper slider back behind the needle. And step four is to put the presser foot back down. And then you can continue sewing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and deal with this zipper turn. So I'm actually gonna sew all the way to the end. And then I'm gonna reverse a little farther than you're used to reversing, set the needle in, in order to then make this turn on the zipper tape. Now the presser foot might wanna push your turn out of the way, and if that starts to happen, you could always lift the presser foot and tuck the zipper tape under the presser foot and then put it back down. And then reverse. So that's how we sew the turn in our zipper. And show you guys how nice that shows up. Okay. 